Unity 5.3 was released today and I've decided to create some short videos that demonstrate some of these new features. Um, the features that I'll be looking at is the new 2D tools and the multi-scene editing tool. So in this video I will take a closer look at the multi-scene editing tool. Um, as you can see here I have a yeah, new project and it's a 2D project and I've just imported some different sprites and created some prefabs for them, from them. So what you can do now is that you can actually add some prefabs to a scene. For example, here we can add the ground and the pla some platforms here. Let's add one more of these. And here I have one scene I would like to save. And all my levels in this game are going to have this uh, kind of setup with the platforms in them. So I might as well reuse these, um, this setup in all my scenes. So what I can do is that I can say file and I can say save scene as and I can call this base scene and let's save it in our, see our scene folder so now I have a base scene I've loaded and I've decided that I would like to add some new things to it um, I would like to add the igloo um, the ice box here some kind of crystal let's put it up here I would like a tree and what else what else I would like the box the crate here and then we also need a background um, let's see don't we have something more interesting shouldn't we have some yeah we have a snowman here let's also add him so now I've added some um, different objects here and I would like them to be in another scene so what I can do is that I can go to file and I can say save scene as and I can go to scenes and I can call this one level one um, yeah let's just call it level one so this is my level one so what I can do now is that I can go to scenes and select my scenes here and drag them into my hierarchy and when I do that you will see that there are two scenes there is level one with all the features in it now and there is the base scene here with everything in it as well so right now we have the platforms in both scenes. We don't need that. Actually, we only need the scenes, uh, the platforms in the base scene. So I can go here and remove the platforms from and the floor from my level one. Now you can see I have both scenes here and I can edit them together. But let's say that I decide to create a level three or something and I wouldn't like these items from level one in it. Well, then I can simply go to the little drop down over here and set, set um, unload scene and if I unload the scene and save it you'll see that all the things that I added from level 1 are not being shown here anymore but all the things from my base scene is here so let's say that I would load it again I can say load scene and then everything is added again to my um, to my game as you can see this is a very handy feature when you have bigger levels maybe um, so you don't need to have everything in one level so it makes it easier for you to collapse stuff um, to have it organized um, and it makes it easier for you to reuse stuff instead of create duplicating the same level and jumping back and forth between levels so as you can see here now I would have to jump back and forth here to um, check what's in both levels but I can actually just take both of them and load them like this and this goes for as many levels as you want you can of course add more levels so that you can um, edit like three levels at the time let's say that we have some we had some enemies or some players here and we could make another level that only contains our enemies and our players so that was a walk through the new uh, multi-level editing tool